Ivan Sergeyevich, going to work. Sure. We've arrived, boss. Thanks, Ivan Andreevich, you are free for today. Have a nice day. And you. Let's go without preamble. I want to introduce you, the last government limousine created by the USSR. And after it, the USSR was gone, and there were no limousines, and therefore the last one in the USSR. The Special Purpose Garage Museum of the Federal Security Service of the Russian Federation keeps the history of our country very carefully. Since history is connected with the main personalities of the state, thanks to comrades with a good memory, they remember everything and everyone by name. And the last government ZIL, that is, this limousine, simply must be there. I'll clarify right away, the 47th is not an independent model, it is, so to speak, a restyling, a modernization of the older model ZIL 4104, which they began to develop at the Likachev plant. Yes, there was such a plant. In the year of my birth, 1974. It's my peer. But I look better. Automotive technology and fashion have changed very rapidly, and our general secretaries much less often, but this has happened too. The king is dead, long live the king, such a slogan was inherent in the newly elected head of government, and this was especially reflected in the appearance of fashion cars. And most of all it was reflected in the representative ZILs. Mikhail Sergeyevich Gorbachev. In 1990, the arrival of this president simply lit up with his face and smiled the entire enlightened world and ignorant Russia. It was he who wanted to rebuild what was already there, including the appearance of the car, so to speak, to deepen. But it turned out to deepen more in terms of appearance, and it's good that everything turned out that way. We are still reaping the result of those machine reforms throughout the country. And so what has changed? Joyful socialist round eyes, that is, headlights, have turned into brick-shaped eyes from the manufacturer Bosch. The turn signals crawled out onto the wings, the taillights were enlarged, and the vents on the front doors also disappeared. Agree, the appearance was a success, and today it is stunning. Everything is in it, both calmness and the greatness of the Soviet Union and the power of the strong. By the way, do you know how many layers of paint? 9 to 15, and each one was polished. Can you imagine what a painstaking process? And the last layer was applied after running tests. But the rest of the limousine, as I said, remained the same as it was before that very reform. The strict black tailcoat of the giant-sized body remained the same length, 250 inches long, 82 inches long, not load-bearing. It is on a peripheral frame, with langerins of a closed rectangular section, which is understandable, because such a large weight, almost 4 tons, another design will get tired of holding. At the same time, the height for such a machine is quite small, 60 inches. Of the interesting, although everything is interesting here, but let's go in order. Front suspension. Check it out. Notice the familiar springs? No, there are none. There are torsion bars. Since we are talking about the suspension, I will tell you about it in more detail. Front suspension lever, torsion bar. The lower lever is unary, strengthened by draft. The shock absorber goes through the upper A-arm, in the place where normal cars have a spring. In addition, there is also a stabilizer bar. And to everything else, there are ball bearings. Also, the brakes here are disc in a circle, and the rubber was called granite, it is tubeless and bulletproof. Now Continental has been installed here, and this is also correct, in the last years of operation, just such a one was installed. Granite tires have some features, very rigid sidewalls, and a special gel was poured inside. Thanks to this design, the wheel, shot through in several places, did not lie on the disc and the car, without slowing down, reached its destination, ideal for chases like in the movies. Another interesting point. The trunk opens intricately, the license plate leans back, opens, and all this huge cubic capacity 
is 60% occupied. By the way, there is also the neck of the gas tank. There is a spare tire on one side, and special communications should have been installed under the covers. In the passenger compartment, and this is precisely the compartment, the cabin, we can say that you enter it in full growth. Have you noticed the width of the doors? And you, and you find yourself in the realm of Velayer, only carpets and Velayer. Leather is for those who don't understand luxury. Well, on a leather sofa, it is cold in winter and in summer, sweaty. Velayer only. Most often, each salon was sewn for a specific person. Cubature, that's what's amazing. Extend your legs, this will not surprise anyone. Landing like in an airplane, expensive. Finishing was carried out from trees to choose from alder or coral birch norma. It was necessary to stroke the native birch trees to concentrate thoughts. You can also turn on the lights and illuminate government documents. Here we have adjustable chairs. And here's your own air conditioner. Above is a reading light. On the right side radio engineering, stereo, the Riga receiver. Here. Hello, I'm listening. Have you seen this? There are two handles on the door. One in front, and one in front. This is so that the seated passenger can open the door for you. This is how. The seat folds out. Of course, it gets tight. Before the owner, as I understand it, no one went. Therefore, it turns out that the ZIL 4107 is a seven-seater car, where it is definitely good for the main passenger, and the rest is just comfortable. If you are pot-bellied, comrade, raise the steering wheel rather, and then lower it. Just make a little effort. Adjustable steering column. You can still, slightly, adjust it yourself up and down. Leather seats, as for me, this is a conversation about practicality. Generally, a comfortable seat. The interior is incomparable with anything from our past, it is so rich here. Again, wood, carpets and impeccable workmanship. The high quality and premium quality of the car is evidenced by the fact that over the years of life in the car nothing has dried out and has not come unstuck. Look at that steering wheel with a chrome rim in the middle. Which sound? Devices. What about the devices? Oil, water, everything is written in Russian, battery charging, gasoline. And also, have you seen anti-reflective cones? By the way, exactly the same cones once stood on the early models of the VAZ2105. But then they were removed. Adjustable mirror, however, in this case, only the right one, and adjustable seats. At the disposal of the driver, or rather under his hand, the passenger controls the car. This car has everything you want, cabinet power windows, pneumatic central locking, loudspeaker and alarm device. And of course, the music center, why did I name it that? Because there is no other way to call it. Well, let's start the engine. But first, I'll tell you something, I'll tell you a secret. There is a magic button here that helps you start the engine without a key. But I won't show it to you. And here a double ignition system is installed, one is normal, the second is emergency. And now I'll play with the buttons. That's all, we can go. Ask me how does an ordinary person feel when he presses the accelerator pedal in this executive ZIL? A word comes to mind that should not be spoken aloud. Take off! Even goosebumps ran. Here they are, under the sweater. 
up to 60 miles, the 47th accelerates in 13 seconds. Some will say that this is a long time for a government car, but this is not the 13 seconds of a mere mortal. It's 13 seconds of comfort and silence. You are probably wondering what kind of motor the creators put here? This whole kingdom is powered by a gasoline, V-shaped, 8-cylinder, 4-stroke engine with a capacity of 315 horsepower at 400 to 4600 RPM, a displacement of 470 cubic inches. I remind you that the ZIL41047 model is 255 inches long. Big car, isn't it? Also here is an amplifier and a rail, turning radius 295 inches. And then there's an automatic 3-speed gearbox. The transmission has a mechanical stop to hold the vehicle on a slope. It is released automatically when the ZIL starts moving. You feel the gear change with your whole body. The body shakes a little when moving from step to step. But this is not that unpleasant breakthrough. This is precisely the transition from one world to another. To a world where you matter. To a world where you can go 120 miles an hour down the main street of the city, from the airport to the government building. An interesting point. The brakes work great, but the very same 4-ton weight of the car is very felt. To get the point across, a car coming to a complete stop at 50 miles per hour is 130 feet, but for this car, it's only 130 feet. So, what else? The 41047 limousine has a 30-gallon fuel tank and an extra urban fuel consumption of 10 gallons per 100 miles. But the representative car does not drink anything, but the AI-95 Extra. Or rather, it drank. About the rear axle. It is spring-loaded. Hence the smooth ride. The springs themselves are small leaf, large length, 61 inches. The width of the sheets is 3 inches. The thickness is 0.3. To reduce noise, Soviet engineers placed polyethylene anti-creak pads between the leaf springs. The suspension also has jet rods. With all the monumentality of the car, with my height of 75 inches, it's a bit cramped for me. But this tightness is pleasant, enveloping, do you understand me? Does comfort tightness exist? Namely, in this car, the tightness is just comfortable. And how it drives. This is exciting. Such a soft ship. Silence is grave. I cannot hear anything. The murmur of the people? No, you can't hear it either. It's finger-thick soundproofing. And the glass, thick. And how smoothly the car shakes on the bumps. It is possible and about the motherland to mourn. The car is very massive. Being the driver of this limousine you go and feel all the greatness. It is felt that this is not Chaika, this is ZIL, and it talks about it with all his appearance. Luxury, wood, excellent driving experience, nice to be behind the wheel, I really like this car. Of course, it drives like that, in the Soviet way. In this style, I can say that a good car, good transmission sometimes kicks. It seems that this box is the same as on youth and the steering wheel is the same. But there is much more luxury here. This is really noticeable and can be understood simply by looking at the entire interior decoration. Cool, cool, nothing more to say. ZIL41047, in fact, even today meets all modern requirements for such machines. Timeless construction. Having created the car in 1974 and producing it in essence until 2002, the designers created history. All the time it has been modernized and improved. In total, 128 models of various modifications were assembled manually. And the car had prospects and a reserve for the future. But then the all-union betrayal happened, which gave us McDonald's and other achievements of developed countries. 
the last ZIL of the USSR. Sadly. But the comrades who keep history remember the names of both heroes and traitors. Remember everyone. We all also remember. Therefore, the hunt continues.